in 13 years. Oh, man, that is something. <laughs> now, you did the fall. You, you got hit by the yeah, car. Yeah, and you, were you driving? I was driving the car. Now, who has to remember the most when doing a stunt like that? The guy driving or the guy get it receiving the uh, punishment? It's kind of both. Uh, it, it's, uh, to me, it's a relief to have a guy like Vic. I usually use just Vic and another friend of mine, Frank Rosati, for that particular driving thing. It was really important. I feel, you know, I have confidence with him being behind the car. I have to worry about that he's not going to break at the wrong time. And it's important not to break until I get hit. And then once I hit that windshield and he breaks, then it throws me off. So it's important that uh, you have the right driver. It's so real looking. It's so awful looking. You know? Charlie well, you normally does this stunt, uh, they're like 20, 25 miles an hour. Yeah, safe is about uh, about 20 miles an hour. I've done it at 25. It really picks you up fast. See, what's happening is you just, uh, you lean into the car. And it just cast, the car just cast you right out the nose. But you don't pay him enough on this show to do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> do you, do you, now, is that what they call a very, very difficult stunt in pictures? That, to me, is, uh, to me, is the most difficult. Now, you've seen a lot of stunts that are spectacular, but they're not that, that difficult. You know, explosion shots and things like that. Yeah. Let's, uh, and you charge according to the difficulty of the, of the stunt, right? Yeah, right. And you don't listen to take two. <laughs> I mean, right. that's it. That's what saying before, Mike, when you commit yourself, that thing, like, when that car is coming at you, you have to... There's no change you get, you, know, you get your adrenaline up and you're scared, but once you go, you have to go. I mean, you can't let up one minute. Yeah, you can't say, I think I'll take it over you when you're go. here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show that in slow motion, then i got a million things I want to ask you about that. Show it in slow-mo, please, the, the car. Now watch this. Look now right here you cut him for the actor. That's a close up on the actor. Now you take that and you lean and lean and just go right up on the hood and, and against now Vic is you. breaking right here. Now he's breaking and throw me off. Now what do I you know think? I am, then I'm you know how to fall. See yeah, him break his fall with yeah. his hand. Most obvious question: How many times have you been hurt? How many bones have you broken? Actually, in 15 years, I've been pretty lucky. The the, the worst that I got hurt was, matter of fact, he mentioned Burt before. I was doubling Burt Reynolds, which he does most of his own stunts. But there was one particular one we did up in Tarrytown on a picture called Seamus. And the heavies are chasing Burt through his garden area. Jumps around. <laughs> There's something like There's something, like 20 more. There's something more about guys like Vic and, and Charlie that make them really valuable to actors like myself. And that is that they're, they go much beyond just doing stunts. I mean, you can call up anybody and say, hey, come on down, do a gag for me and take a punch. And, but these guys, um, they understand character. In other words, there's a certain thing that I would, that a character like Hutch would do, which Charlie would pick up on. <clears throat> And the guy who would be doubling me would do it the way Hutch would do it. And the movements. Yeah. Same and movement. so in other words, stuntmen of this caliber, this quality, are, are really kind of rare. Generate. Because they get into character also. They, they have a yeah. character right. study that's going on. So that they, be, they are really acting. It's and uh, it's very tough. tough. Was saying, I will always consult with David and Paul and have them watch me routine it. Yeah. And they, they're so helpful. They suggest things. And they, get, they know their, the character better than we do. You know, it's, and it's, uh, we try it really to develop their style. Instead of changing them to fit us, we try to and every fit time ourselves I, to them. I lay out a stunt for Dave, he says, well, wait a minute, now, Hutch wouldn't do that. I said, <laughs> Please. <laughs> an example of how, uh, what a good student he is and do a little fencing demo with David, okay? Can I? Right. Oh, got that. Put the foils right here. Is that what they call them? Rapiers. Foils? Rapiers. Rapiers. <laughs> I'm the foil. You want me These are the foil. When we show for Yeah, he's the foil. Right in the middle. This is the only thing, Mike, that he can do better than I can. <laughs> the only thing. <laughs> You want to walk a little? I always wanted to do this. It looks so nice. Let's see. Step over this way, Charlie. Okay. Let's get set. Get down a little bit. Little cheek, 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 cheek. cheek, 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 cheek. Well, Great. You want to walk in front? Yeah, let's walk over it. The cheek. We always slow up cream. Right, cream here. Cream. Point. 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 Here. Here. Back. Now we're going to get cheek, flank, grind, back. Cheek, flank, back. Here. Three more points. Three points. Back. 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 Okay, got it. Right. Okay. This is okay. Boom. Here we go. Okay, Mike. Alright, let me get it. Then get 
Give me the flat. That's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you do the thing, Charlie, with that where you take a guy's vest and just flip all the buttons? No, no. Just asking. There we go. My tailor have a seizure. Oh, you're not gonna cut me, are you? Never, David. Now this is the second time. You said the second time, David, picked the light up. Back here, just try to. What do you use when you shave? All right, David. Let's see if you can get your feet heel to heel. Okay. Heel heel. Yeah, that's right. Now just kind of sit down like a cat. That's it. Lightly, 45 degrees. Relax, David. Relax. That's it. Put that hand back there in case you're running. <laughs> <laughs> Not that relaxed. Uh, here we go. Let's do it. Okay, we'll walk it once. Yeah. Now, what are we doing? We'll just walk it. I'll drive the points, the menacing point, uh -huh. and you carry Sagon like a windmill. Very well, easy. He was president of Spain, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Easy. Right. <laughs> Retreat on those. That's it. Ah. That's it, that's it. Okay, now let's try it over there. Here we go. Now we get set. Get that knee out. Knee out. Relax, get the arm up. Okay. Three points, here we go. Now go. Let's try it again. Now wait, Chief, if this were a real fight, you couldn't do that. The guy that did that, they call him Stumpy. All right, David, come on. Sit down, get the knee out there. Look like aeroplane. Here we go. Three points now. Go. That's it. Now do the key. Very nice. What do you like that? Oh, that, oh, that one. Oh, he just made it. He made me look good. That's all. Yeah. Tells you where to put the thing, and then you just do no, it. No, but you move quickly and nice. Well, yes, I do, kind of freely. <laughs> You're natural, David. Let's face it. 